So welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're taking a look at staking the Kajira token. After a recent governance proposal was passed, the staking model is now a lot different and really beneficial to long-term stakers of the token to receive revenue from this platform and plenty of revenue it will be making. So I'm gonna go through the benefits of doing this and how you can go ahead and stake some Kuji today. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're gonna hop right on in here. Now the Kajira token has pumped quite considerably over the last few days, as you can see from the chart down here. And this is in direct response to that change in staking portal. So staking your tokens now gets you a revenue share of platform fees, not just paid out in the Kuji token, which it was done previous, but now you're getting paid in a range of different assets from AUST to B Luna and B ETH. So this is a way you can continually buy the dip in essence on some of the best assets in crypto right now and be paid in dollars, which everyone likes. Now, bear in mind, this has pumped quite a lot. So of course, try and make your entries sensible. What does Kajira do? Essentially, this allows you to bid on liquidations of Anchor loans. So as you know, over on Anchor, currently the collateral list is just bonded ETH and bonded Luna. So people are essentially parking their ETH and their Luna here. They want to retain ownership of those assets, but they want to unlock some value and make the money work for them. So when they do this, they have a loan to value ratio and they must ensure that their collateral is maintained above that threshold. So you park a non-stable asset, i.e. Luna, and receive a stablecoin asset in return, UST. But this is gonna change a lot as more assets are coming to Anchor very soon. So lending out UST is a risky undertaking for Anchor, so they expect borrowers to reduce that risk by providing assurance in the form of that collateral. And Anchor allows borrowers to withdraw up to 60% of the value of their collateral. That is true for ETH, it is now up to 80% for Luna, but when the value of your staked asset changes, it means it can dip below the required percentage amount. And when this does occur, the loan becomes at risk and thus can be liquidated. So Kajira gives us the opportunity to be the liquidator here and really become the whale. So our job here is to become the liquidator. We ensure the supplier of the funds, i.e. Anchor, doesn't go out of business by losing capital to bad debt and by keeping lenders solvent. So the liquidator ensures there's capital available to the would-be borrowers, keeping the cogs of this system turning. So what liquidators get in return then? Well, we repay the shortfall on the collateral to the lender on behalf of the borrower. These liquidations are paid in the form of UST, allowing us to essentially place bids for the liquidated collateral. So once an at-risk loan is successfully liquidated, the lender, in this case Anchor, gets back the UST they loaned out and the borrower has the UST they borrowed. But that collateral that was put up by the borrower becomes the property of the liquidator. Hence, we're buying these B assets at a nice discount. So that's an overview of how the model works here. Now there's three applications to Kajira. We've got Blue, this is essentially your own dashboard. This is where you can stake, get involved with governance and all of that good stuff. Then we have Orca, this is the main app here and this is where we can liquidate those assets and place our bids from a 1% discount all the way up to a huge 30% discount on both B ETH and B Luna, more assets coming. And then there's Beluga down here, which is more like a payments app, similar to like having a company payroll where you can disperse a load of CW20 tokens easily. Do note here, because I've staked over 5,000 Kajira, I have the premium features enabled. So if you're just logging onto this for the first time, you might not be able to see all of these things down here. And as you can see, this is denoted up here by the diamond being highlighted. So with Kajira, we can place bids on these liquidations at varying percentages. So if I wanted a 1% premium on the market value, I would put a bid in here at 1%. So I could click this 1% tab, or maybe if I want to go to say 4%, if I click that there, you can see over here, the premium changes to 4%. I then enter my bid amount. And once I've placed that bid, it is added to the stack here. So at 4% discount, you can see currently there's 8.8 .8 million UST and 1.6 million AUST in bids at the ready. So if there's a huge liquidation event on Anchor and loads of these B Luna start getting wiped, well, the system will work through all of these bids one by one and soak up all of the UST and AUST that has been bidded until all that bad debt and thus those B Luna are soaked up by this protocol. Now drawing attention to this button here, a withdrawal of a successful bid will incur a 0.5% fee. So this means if I bid on here and I'm successful to then get these B Luna assets, the protocol will take 0.5%, but this goes 
all to the stakers of the Kajira token, as denoted just by here. So if you stake the Kuji token, this means you can get a share of all of the withdrawals that take place. And so every time a bid gets filled in here, that 0.5% is taken and then given into the staking pool. So this means a potential huge revenue share. On top of this, with AUST now being an applicable token to bid with, this means AUST is consistently accruing yield. Now on the right-hand side, you can see the typical anchor yield, 19.47%, but the Orca bids for AUST here accrue 14.992%, and the difference is then taken by the protocol. So fees explained here, we charge a 0.5% fee across the board for a withdrawal paid out in the B asset. So if there's a 1000 B Luna withdrawal, for example, five would then make their way into the staking pot. And on top of this, with the interest of anchor yield, 23% of that is retained from the AUST bids. And this interest is also paid back in full to stakers. So B Luna, B ETH, and AUST accruing consistently day by day into the staking pot. So let's have a little look at Kajira Blue here. Now we've understand the fees. So this shows us exactly where the protocol revenue is going. So currently in this protocol, there's around 16.1 million USTs worth of value broken down into these varying assets, as you can see on screen here. And then you can see your individual share. So I've started to stake some Kuji in here. And bear in mind, this portal's only been open for around 24 hours. You can see the breakdown of tokens I'm accruing here. And as more assets get added to the pool, I'm gonna get my fair share of that. So this comes off the back of the governance proposal to change the kind of staking design here. So previously, people were paid out in more Kuji tokens and not the underlying Apex assets. And this meant there was kind of a incentive to just keep dumping the token. When you're paid in the same token that you're staking, you see this time and time and time, the value of it just keeps going down. But essentially what has happened here is now that the platform is paying out in these underlying tokens, the likes of BETH, BLUNA, AUST, and of course, we know Anchor's gonna have B Sol and S Atom coming soon, and of course, AVAX. While getting paid out in these tokens makes a heck of a difference. The platform takes a cut of these as its revenue and now distributes them to the stakers. So if I'm staking Kuji, I've now got a claim to these other very desirable assets. So previously the staking model would incentivize me to maybe dump the Kuji, but now I want to accumulate more Kuji and lock it up into the staking pool because I know I'm gonna be paid out in cryptocurrencies that I would wish to hold. Now, once you've staked your tokens or bonded them to the pool, to withdraw is the only way to get the actual payments out. You can see them in your share on the blue app, but you don't actually receive them until you do the withdrawal. But there's game theory within this that ensures you want to stake for a longer period of time and not consistently withdraw your staked Kuji. So when you bond or stake here, you put in Kuji and you receive the S Kuji as a receipt token. And then when you want to unbond it or unstake it, out pops your fair share of the revenues here in the form of B Luna, B ETH, AUST, and more Kuji and more B assets to come. So this new mechanism took place from the 1st of March, just yesterday, and you can already see a lot has started to be staked. And if you scroll down, you can see that from the current circular in supply of Kuji, around 31 million tokens. A lot of these have already been bonded, 17.9 million, and created 16.3 million S Kuji. So that is over half of the total tokens being staked already. So you can see how this flywheel is really kicking in here. Stake Kuji, get S Kuji, and a right to these B assets and AUST revenue streams. So we're gonna be incentivized to continue to stake. And as more stakers get involved with this, there's gonna be less circulating supply on the market, plus revenue share from a protocol. This does mean that the token price is likely to continue going up. So a quick example of why it's beneficial to start staking as early as possible and not to withdraw here. So if you've got an initial pool value here created by two individuals and they put in 4,000 and 6,000 Kuji respectively and Kuji is valued at 75 cents, that means you have a pool value of 7,500 bucks. They then each mint 3,000 and 4,500 S Kuji respectively and own a 40 and 60% split of the pool. And the pool currently has a balance of 10,000 Kuji tokens. So at this point in time, if they unbond or unstake, they get the same amount of Kuji tokens that they deposited. However, over time, what's gonna happen here is there's gonna be an increasing value to the pool. This is due to the protocol making revenue. So assuming Kajira platform and 10 B Luna in fees, these are deposited into the pool. If person A unbonds their 40%, they are returned to their initial 4,000 Kuji plus 4 B Luna, four out of 10, i.e. their fair share 
of the increase in value to the pool. Now that person's exited, the pool has a balance of 6,000 QG and 6 B Luna. Let's say B Luna is valued at $69, QG still at 75 cents, total value 4,914 UST. Now the pool starts to grow. Person C comes along and stakes a further 5,000 QG, and this stake is currently worth 3,750 UST. Adding to the previous value here equals 8,664. Now, after this person's bonded, their ownership becomes 3,434 S QG, i.e. 43.2% of the total pool. So having just entered, if person C now decides to unbond immediately after staking, they would receive 3,750 UST worth of assets made up according to the split of the pool. So they wouldn't get just their 3750 they put in, they're gonna get a value of the pool. So they would get 2.6 B Luna and 4,761 QG. So less QG than they put in, but B Luna, which they did not put in, they're retrieving from the pool. So the kicker here is that if they continue to stake, they will earn a share of all future fees that get added to the pool. Thus, a long-term time horizon with this one means your claim on the pool as it grows will become bigger and bigger and bigger. So the system really incentivizes staking and punishes those who do unstake. So this is a very smart flywheel. How do you get involved? How do you start staking? Well, first and foremost, you need to go to TerraSwap and get yourself some Kuji tokens. Go ahead and buy them. Then come over to the app itself, blue.kajira.app. Then click on the Earn tab here, and you can see the Bond button on the SQG Revenue Pool. So you can click Bond, and then press max or whatever you want to do, and then start bonding these QG tokens. To unbond them, as you can see, there's a 24 hour unbonding period. So this is what I've done. I've staked some Kajira tokens, got myself premium access by staking more than 5,000, and now I'm gonna get a revenue share of protocol revenues proportional to the amount I've staked in here. So what is next here for Kajira Protocol? The focus is now on the multi-chain markets, cross-chain integrations. So tomorrow on Thursday, there's gonna be a announcement of a new partner, which is gonna expand the number of assets and markets they participate with. So this is a pretty damn cool app that has big ambitions. So stay tuned for the announcement on that tomorrow. Essentially, this one's pretty simple in my mind. It's likely there's gonna be more AUST added on the bid side, i.e. more protocol revenues in terms of dollars, plus more assets coming online is gonna be more liquidations. Degenerate behavior is not gonna stop in the crypto markets, and this way you can earn off the back of liquidations something that we haven't been able to do before. So this is a pretty solid token in my opinion and really worth staking. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions on this platform and you wanna see some other videos on Kajira, drop me a comment and a suggestion down below guys and I'll consider it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.